So here we are at Garlands. We've got a hundred birder today. I'm going to try and do something different. We're going to try and get video footage of the whole shoot. Um, I'll try and talk through either what I'm going to do before or what I did after, and then try and post the video up uh, on YouTube later on. Hope you enjoy. So here we are. We've got stand one. We've got a uh, going away bird from the left on report a right to left standard. So we're on the screen. The um, we're going to apply a swing through method on the first bird coming into a, uh, a gentle pull away on the second. Hopefully, we're going to see that over the shoulder. Pull. Bang. Five pair, yeah? Five pairs, my Pull. So, got 10 out of 10 on stand one. Lucky big high pair here on two. We've got a really long, high climbing bird coming up. Long, long, long. Very slow swing through on the long one, and then a uh, gentle, gentle pull away on the first. Um, right. Let's see how we go. Well. So uh, <laughs> the weather came down then, unfortunately, pulled in front of two of the real long crosses, but that's the game. I promise we're not going to edit this, so you'll get to see everything. So we've got six out of eight there pulled in front of uh, the long ones. One of them I simply overled. One of them stalled up in the wind and I'd already gone past it. So that's life. We move on. So the next pair we've got an overhead into the sun. <laughs> and then a few off the tower. Big pair here. An overhead that's climbing up. And I'm just going to sort of let that drop into the gun. I've got a real fast, awkward angle off the towel. So I'm going to let a swing come into play, try and get the line. But um, the problem being the sun's going to play right. If the sun comes out, it's going to be right on both kill points. So let's have a look. No bird, no bird. Come out. No bird, Sorry. First bird killed, yeah? First bird killed, Okay, very happy with that stand there. It's a big, big peg. Um, managed to get eight out of eight referee, so that's the first eight today. Uh, that's what you've got to do. You've got to carry the disappointment of missing two on there. Can't have any effect on your on your mindset. You've just got to carry on and try and hit the rest of the mix. So here we go on to the next peg now. Um, anyway, bird. Good job. Happy. Big tower Thank bird. you. Okay. So we've got the big 
going away but here on report uh, from the big tower up here so i'm going to affect a really really slow swing through on the pink bird coming in from literally about four inches behind then i'm going to hold on learn the line of the tower bird before we apply a pull away method hopefully uh, a bit of a tricky tower bird here so we'll see what we can do Pull. So, plan worked there. Um, came in too far behind on the first pink one. Had to hold on to the uh, hold on to the kill point. Managed to straight the peg again. Eight out of eight. So another good bird there to four those towers. On to the next peg. So I've got a right oh. to left rabbit here. And pull away. Look how fast that is wrapping. And I'll report a big batu up here. Call for the second one here. Pull. Oh. Then a batu there. So I'm going to use pull away twice. Just different hand speeds. Pull. 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 So, I made a mistake there. Um, I missed two long birds, but they were missable. I just missed a very silly, silly batu there. Um, this first batu that I missed, I just hung on to it. I meant to kill it on the uh, earlier kill point and never took the shot. Um, if you press rewind, you'll see how I draft dramatically changed my kill point on the batu for the for the last three birds that's an error that's something i don't like to do um i don't mind missing i don't mind missing the heart bird like i missed it wrong, but that's a silly just a silly lapse of concentration miss so you got to see that so it happens to all of us um let's move on so on to the next peg we've got a simultaneous pair left to right somewhere here Pull. okay lovely thank you how many pairs laurie Pull. No bird. Pull. 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 So quite happy with the mental game there. Managed to pull back after a silly miss, kill all eight of those. Um, it's quite a tricky simultaneous pair. The first bird's got a really big climb on it, but you see the other bird first, so it's an, it's an eye game. I have to put my eyes into place, let the first bird come past me, make the upward move. So I'm swinging up the line just from about four inches behind. And I drop into a straight pull away off the second, which is then rising. So we've got two two different lines to pick up there. Again, happy with the straight, but even more happy with the straight after the, the mental break with where I missed the silly bird peg prior. So, so we're halfway around. Um, a couple of good stands, lots of good birds we've made some good moves on. Two long birds that I missed, like I say, the wind cost me one, but I can live with that, and I don't mind missing the other one. That's just life. A very, very silly miss on a batu, just held onto my kill point. That threw my system out of my 50% move. Um, that's something that I'd like to think at a major shoot, I would have uh, I would put to bed. Um, taking five or six clients around with me as well, so we're discussing their moves as well. So, you know, I'm quite happy with that. 
as a as a movement side of things and also the impact and to pull it back after the miss so halfway around hope you enjoyed that let's keep going Paul well, that's a midi and a standard so we've got a long 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 pair of incomers here so we're going to look to apply two slow swing throughs coming just under the line so we're going to hold them coming through the line here just watching these drop into the shot so nice good way across the pond but... oh. Oh. So a nasty pair there, the midi was quite long, please a shoot 8 out of 8, a um, little bit of a no bird, didn't really re cut my concentration but uh, please come out of there with that one. I think it's coming from the floor. Going away but here, traps quite a long way out and a big one up in the sky, let's take a look. Okay, nice days, ripping, Bang. ripping, oh big pair. So another tough peg, you can see why the scores are quite low in the clubhouse, so we're going to shoot a very, very shallow swing through on this fast trap shot. Then you've got to decrease your hand speed coming into a pull around the second, so a very technical peg. Uh, as we're walking, some people have said it's a tough peg up here, so it is tough, it's a long way out on the trap shot, a long way out on the cross or so, it's about hand speed here and technique, let's see where we go. Paul! Real happy with a 10 on there. If you play it back, you'll see my kill point change from pair one to pair two, three, four, and five. Um, I had planned to hold on to that one, but I didn't like the shot. It seemed to be getting very effective as I came in to take the shot. And so I, I did alter my kill point. Um, if you watch the videos in the week about the mistakes drill, I wanted to plan the move. Um, instinctively on the spot, I realized that that was wrong. And then I changed the shot. Um, just being honest with you all, I am struggling with the video on my shoulder because halfway through the pairs, I'm trying to think about what I'm going to say afterwards. So I'm actually finding it a very good mental test. So like when I came into pair three, then I was thinking, like, I'm going to tell them about me moving my whole points. And that's obviously not the best mindset, but this video is for, uh, for you guys, not for me. So lucky enough to hold, maintain concentration and uh, come out with 10 out of 10. So. Okay, so next pair, we've got a right to left and a left to right. Let's have a look. No one's seen them yet. Oh. Okay, so a big, big crosser up in those trees. That's going to be a problem for me with height and then back the other way. So um, we have a view problem here. So we're going to have to come to one that. Second one's going to appear quick and slow down. So it's about hand speeds and methods. We're going to try and shoot two different pullaways on here. Oh. Oh! Oh! 
that's a seven. I missed the last long crosser, but really, really unfortunate being tall. I had to spot shoot that first bird. It's not a method I enjoy, but it's lucky we've practiced it before, but it's just bad oh. setting there. The bird's directly behind one of the tall branches. So, um, just couldn't see it. Couldn't see it. So, um, seven's not great, but in my mind, I'm making it, making myself, you know, I'm happy because that could have been a disaster. You simply couldn't see what you were shooting at. I didn't even know if I was breaking them until the referee would tell me so just unfortunately either the winds raised the trap or or, or the, but the, the branch is completely completely in the way uh, when the squad's finished i'm going to try and show you so the squad's finished so i'll just ask the referee if we can uh, if we can just say one i don't know if i can see this on here but you'll see that all of the pellet holes in the leaves that's how far behind the tree they are so i'm just going to try and give you a view of what we were trying to put up with on here so we're not going to see it until here it's going to be behind these trees the whole way pull Look, you see, it just, it just doesn't come out the tree line. So that's what we were contending with. Okay, so next peg, you can see this close trap going to come through here. And then apparently on report, we've got a Batu up here somewhere. Take a look at them then. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's, that's, only, that's only 10 foot away. That's horrible. Bang. No bird. See the pair again? Oh. No bird. See it again, mate. Oh, horrible thing there. Bang. Oh, and then a big batu. Yeah, yeah. big tough peg. So we've got a real tough peg here. A real close one. A screaming batu that's hard to see. So I'm next, so I can't talk for too long. I'm going to be looking for a swing through followed by a pull away. Pull. Oh. Okay, so really, really happy to raise out of eight on there. So probably the most technical peg of the day. Um, obviously, I've not seen the video. I don't know if Brent um, got my footwork. I was seriously moving my feet oh. around to slow the gun down and speed it up. So um, a big, big peg for me in there. Um, good target setting. First bird must be only be eight feet away, and you've got a big, powerful batu. So, um, yeah, please with a straight. Um, oh. Exactly what I said, just a shallow swing through to no lead. Finish off with a really powerful pull away. So, okay. have a look. Okay, next oh, peg, we've got a big teal. Look, look yeah. it's a long way out, oh. and it's pink hard to see. Yeah, fucking look Ooh. at that. Horrible. Horrible. And, and then a flopping thing coming in here. So, we've got, that's a difficult bird. Green bird should be there to kill, but this pink bird, a long, long way out. Edge on it, driving up there. Nasty bird. Here we go. Oh, yeah, happy with that. Um, shot that quite early with a lot of foot positioning to allow me to get round. It's quite difficult to control your hand speed. So I actually dismounted in between the shots to try and get control over my hand speed. So uh, big, big teal. We uh, got lucky on one of them, only not the top edge off it, but the rest of them were, were slap bang in the middle. So walking now, long walk back to the last peg. Um, what are we? What are we? Four away four away with the peg to shoot um look it's not going to be the winning score but uh it wasn't about that today it was about trying to educate you lot and um test myself see if i could concentrate on this and put a performance in so not over yet we've got one peg to go um let's see what he's got for us back there okay long walk back up onto the last peg now um it's a uh, report pair of middies 
Which one's first, Charlie? Right to left midi, followed by a left to right midi. We're just gonna have a look at the pair, I'll show you that now. Yeah. That's the second bird, Tim. Middies. Okay, midi there. Right. Oh, and then a long edge on midi, look, good bird to finish, nasty pair. Um, I'm gonna use a very slow swing throw up here, and a very attached pull away. It's gonna be a very, very difficult peg, nasty peg, but a tough round, really. Paul. 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 So that's the last peg. Um, a really enjoyable course. I think that uh, branch caught me out there, but that's life. Um, another straight on there, so I'm happy with the 96 round there. Um, like I say, I did feel, I did a, not feel the pressure, but I felt like I wanted to perform, if that makes sense. Um, nobody wants to look stupid on video, but I promised myself on the way here, regardless of the outcome, that the video was going to be educational and I would post it regardless. So, um, look, if you learnt something, it was worth doing. Um, Steve Lovett's just coming up here now, so I'm going to interview him now on the course, and we'll. Uh, so we're joined by Mr. Lovett, now a esteemed cameraman here. What? Um, so we've shot the course, Steve, and I was going to say, I don't just say it to you. Obviously, if it's shit, I'd say it was shit. But I thought I was perfectly balanced. I thought um, there was a bit there for everybody. We had one problem with that um, stand. What would it be? Nine, where it dipped in behind a tree. We, could, yeah. we couldn't really yeah, get a shot yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. But I think, as I, as I explained <clears> to these guys, I think what what. The wind's probably got under that. Something has changed. And, yeah. and pushed it up. Yeah. Um, quite, not, it's quite unusual for you today. We had two within eight feet. That's, yeah, that's, I quite that, like that. Yeah, because that's not that's something you is new to you. And I, I enjoyed it. It caught a lot of people out, which yeah. obviously yeah. it's one of those targets where you think you can't miss it, and when you miss it, it takes you it takes you by surprise almost. I know you I know you don't set a course for a score, but what, what do you think the score around there is? Today, I thought it would be relatively low. I thought 92s, 93s, personally. Um, you've got a steady start out here. Then you wound into the big tower a fair bit. There's yeah, two, yeah. two good birds watching yeah, you off the tower, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, then it's relatively steady. There's two tricky shimmo pairs, six and seven. Yeah, and as, as, as a report pair, there'd be, there'd be a doddle, wouldn't they? It just puts you out of position yeah. on that second bird, especially yeah. the pair over the pond. And I've heard a lot of people talking back here about especially that one on stand six um is it back or is it front foot yeah first we had we had that I, conversation I'd ian's over here forward, you, you were you were you were sure it was the the lower bird first and then i walked in there and shot yeah. the other way around what's your thoughts on the course brent i thought it was a great course technical targets <laughs> i mean they really were there's, there's a lot there to, to catch some shooters it'd be interesting because as a as a shooter from yourself that didn't shoot today you helped me out what, what did you think of the course? It's quite easy when you've shot it to judge it. Well, if you missed it, it's hard. And if you hit it, it's easy. Yeah, I, but, I thought it was really challenging. It was a really challenging course. Yeah, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. So yeah. what, what's people, I'm going to put this on tonight, Steve. So where's on next? Uh, we're back at Oak Edge in Westfield next Sunday. And that's just the same thing. Go to the, go to the website go and book the website online. And book on. The mornings are full now. Yeah. We've only got afternoons. Okay, again, that credits you that you're doing something right, doesn't it? That, you know, yeah, I, I quite like this system and shooters are liking it. And, you know, if shooters will carry on booking in, we'll carry the system on. Superb. Thank you, mate. Enjoy the day.